courtesy of The Verge. Interesting news. It says here, Spotify's Clubhouse competitor Green Room launches today. I will, again, and I've made my thoughts very clear about Clubhouse. I think it's a bit of a bullshit app, obviously overvalued. They probably are kicking themselves for not accepting that crazy build multi-billion dollars. Is it multi or singular? It might have been a four billion, whatever it was. There's a lot of billions. Um, offer that they got from i think facebook or somebody i don't know who it was and then that company went and went on and made their own now twitter have got their own clubhouse version of an app facebook have got their own version now spotify went to the chat so uh, you know these platforms have already got built-in audiences they've already got a reason why that kind of app would work on their platform and it's only a matter of time before they just take away all or siphon away some of the viewers and users from um, clubhouse onto those apps and since clubhouse is still invite only i'm not too sure I, I did see some news clipping that said it was going to soon open up to everybody but if it still remains open um invite only and all these other platforms are opening up for free to everybody it's just going to be over before it started for those guys or you never know it might end up like snapchat snapchat has been people have been predicting the death of snapchat every every other year and they still keep trucking on so maybe they might figure out something and because they were first to market people just always going to associate that sort of like audio um chat room sort of stuff with clubhouse so that might be a good thing who knows but let's continue with the article it says here spotify's live audio app green room formally launched today on ios and android marking the company's first real attempt at creating a social media platform hmm they think it's a social media platform. Okay. So I'd assume the long-term goal is to maybe pull it away from Spotify and have it live as its own app. Hmm. The social, the social audio app, which is similar to Clubhouse, allows users to host live conversations about sports, music, and culture. Today's launch um, doesn't come with a, a marquee creator announcement, which is very interesting, or Pacific event plan. But instead, the company is taking the opportunity to encourage people to sign up and figure out how they want to use the app. Some of its core functionality, a person close to the situation says, will eventually make its way to the actual Spotify app so the team will monitor what happens in the green room. So that's an interesting way to go about things. They didn't launch it with some glitch see you know celebrity um host or you know rooms or discussions they just said hey here it is it's open use it you know to your heart's content let us know how and what works and what doesn't and then they're going to implement what they like on the spotify app itself really interesting the app is built on locker room which betty labs created and spotify acquired in march great acquisition the app focused solely on sports content so users who've been logged on since the start will have to get used to seeing more than just sports talk which is likely the biggest change other noticeable changes on the app are likely are mostly visual it has now a spotify green and black color scheme as well as a new logo font functionality wise it also now features native recording which will allow users to save their shows and distribute them as podcasts of course Spotify owns anchor so one can easily imagine those shows eventually natively landing or moved to create software for further editing and publishing sick users can sign up for Spotify login Although it's not required to use the app, the initial sign-up flow will allow users to select their interests from a wide range of topics like music genres and sports teams. Additionally, Spotify is announcing a creator hunt, a creator fund. Sorry, although details are sparse, people on the app will be paid based on how popular their rooms are and their engagement in them. The source closest the situation says the exclusive deals with creators are also in the works. With announcements likely to come over the summer, it isn't clear how much money Spotify will dedicate to lure creators on the app, but interested users can sign up for more information below here um yeah see so yeah, every app has now seems to have a social media app clubhouse da, da, da. it's interesting how much money spotify is spending in it they are really breaking the bank from the deals to sign rogan obviously the call her daddy thing um the other deals that they've kind of thrown out to people the ring and all that stuff and now they've got this app and if I'm assuming if it does become successful, they're going to sign some big deals with certain podcasters or hosts and whatnot. It's going to be it's going to be mad the future isn't it, going forward. I wonder if they're going to branch into doing hardware. It's a really interesting state of affairs, really. I've got to be honest, really interesting state of affairs. But yeah, um, Green Room is here. Another kind of nail in the coffin of Clubhouse more often, more likely than not. But again, stranger things have happened. I wouldn't be surprised if they managed to kind of fly out of this like a phoenix and sort of figure out a solution that works best for them. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised.